What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're showing you some upgrades to the trailer. So guys, you've probably seen some of the videos already, and it's nice to see the progression of how this trailer has been working for us. It's been about a year and a half now, and we've made quite a few changes to the trailer from the onset. If you wanna check out some of the earlier videos, check up there in the box, or I'll have links down below to all the different trailer videos and you can kind of see the progression and see all the different things that we've added, taken away, improved, or whatever. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the major upgrades that we made in the past two to three weeks. And there's some pretty awesome upgrades that have really improved the efficiency of our workflow. So first guys, if you are enjoying these videos, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And as always, I will have links to all of these upgrades, the tools, the different things that we've added on to the trailer down below in links that will go either to Amazon or Car Supplies Warehouse. Now guys, this video is not designed for people to go out and copy or get exactly the same type of setup. A big trailer like this is not necessary for a mobile detailing business. Plenty of guys work out of a small car, a small truck, a small van, whatever the case, whatever works for you or whatever your desire or preference is, go with that. Don't simply copy people and spend too much money and then it's not really worth it. Start small and build up from there. It took us a long time to be able to work up to this trailer, almost nine years. So we've been in the business for over 10 years now and I've had this trailer for about a year and a half now. But I am extremely satisfied with the way that this trailer really works for our business and I've really always wanted a trailer like this something that I can actually step up into go inside of organize things the way that I want because that's me this is what I wanted it may not work for you but at least you can get some pointers on how we set up our pressure washer or the bottles or other things that could help you in your business but again is it overkill that's personal preference let's show you what we upgraded I'm not going to show you everything in the trailer just some of the main upgrades so when you look at the trailer from the back here, you will start to notice a few things that have changed. Now we have the bottles that are all lined up here. You've already seen that in some of the past videos. I did that quite a while ago, but now you see some added things. Let's talk about this vacuum hose. This was one of the major upgrades that I wanted in our trailer. This is 50 feet, so a 50 foot hose from Cantec. I actually showed you this before because this is the original 30 foot hose that I used to use with my rigid five horsepower, four gallon vacuum. And the same company will make a ton of different lengths of hose and they all come with the same attachments. So these fit right onto all of the different tools, the rigid tools that we have. And again, I will have the links to all of these down below. As you know, my favorite little brush tool that I use, this is from Hoover and this is a very popular one. I love this little attachment. It fits perfectly onto the vacuum. And of course, this swivels. The hose reel is from a company called Rockler. It's actually designed for woodworking shops, but who says it can't work in the detailing world? It is almost half the price of other reels out there, such as the Cox reel. Now the Cox reel is incredible because it's completely metal and that thing is heavy duty. It will last a lifetime. I'm sure this will last a lifetime too. It's made of a heavy duty composite plastic and it does have the metal framing here which i really really like so let's check out how long well that's at its max length um that's 50 feet did i need that much probably not but uh i don't care i love it and this is crush proof crush resistant i can walk right over it and not a problem at all I've been using this hose for, I don't know, maybe a year now, maybe over a year, and haven't had any issues with it at all. It's extremely resilient. Here's how it connects. Super easy, it comes with all the components. The only thing that you may need to get from other rigid vacuums, you might need to buy another hose kit, is this. So these all adapt, they all fit into the, to the connector here, and I just have a double-ended connector here that goes into vacuum so it's the same port here and this is the original vacuum hose from rigid and i just cut it and it goes perfectly into the vacuum and now i have the vacuum here here's a tip also you see this head here this actually pops off because it is also a blower so here's the exhaust 
for the vacuum itself. And if you notice, this head is not the original that came with this vacuum. This is actually a six and a half horsepower vacuum head and blower. Now, how did I get that to fit onto this? Because it's supposed to be five horsepower. Here's how I did it. I bought this. Now this is a larger vacuum and I'm gonna use it in my garage for other things, but the heads are the same. So all I needed to do was switch it out. Now I have a six and a half horsepower, which with the 50 foot length, I really don't lose any suction. With the five horsepower one, it was lagging a little bit. And true, you're going to still lag just a little bit. You're gonna lose a little bit of sucking power with this long hose. You don't have to get the 50 foot. There is an option to either buy this without the hose or you can buy it with the hose. So there are two different options. I bought this one without the hose directly from the Rockler site, but I suggest to buy it from Amazon because you can also buy the other edition that has the 40 foot blue hose, which is a little bit more heavier duty than this gray hose, but it's 40 foot, which is plenty. I think 50 foot is probably overkill. I probably didn't need 50 feet because when I'm working on a vehicle, I have it, you know, reeled a little bit here anyway. It's never fully extended. So 40 feet would be perfect. And I believe those attachments still have uh, the end that you can fit all these tools. If not, you can always just go out and buy another rigid kit. They're not that expensive because you may need to get these parts anyway. So you might need to just buy another rigid um, hose and accessory kit, and it'll come with all these nice accessories and another one of these, which you can always use. You always need tools like this for your detailing for your vacuum. So that's not a big deal. I suggest to buy the one on Amazon. I believe it's still around $260, $260 with the 40 foot hose included, which is a really awesome deal. Very easy to put together, bolts right down. This thing is awesome. So now the vacuum does not move, six and a half horsepower. It's plenty of power for this, it's awesome. Now let's talk about the blower. So I mounted the little dog grooming blower here and I just have these little metal clips that I purchased either at uh, Harbor Freight or Home Depot. I forget, you can mount it however you want. It stays put here. I did have to kind of duct tape it a little bit here because I don't use the heat, but this does generate its own heat anyway, and it warms this up so much that it would push it out. So I know, I really don't like that, but uh, oh well, it works. I could switch it with this. I have this hose at the end here because both this hose, which is the original hose that came with this, it's an expandable one, and I do like that at the end of this hose, but I might switch it uh, because it does fit better into this area. So you'll have the black hose here and then you'll have the uh, gray hose, which is 30 feet of this hose. So I don't necessarily like this setup. I may do something later on with a smaller hose reel. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. It still works. So now I can unravel that and turn the, the blower on and I don't have to move this blower at all. Now I have everything powered here by this nice metal strip. So this metal strip runs along the back here and it has multiple ports to plug things into. So my retractable 50 foot line is up here. So again, this is great for connecting my steamer to or any other tool that you need, polishers, whatever. I have my cord snap attached to that if I do need to use it. So this is a great addition. So I don't have to have the crazy extension cords making a big mess. I still have this one here that I will use with the locking cord. I do love this, this is 50 feet. So I have plenty of extension cord. Now here's another cool thing. If you remember the video where we connected the generator, Tony from Raldas Details built this awesome slide out for the generator. If you wanna get in contact with him to actually have one of these custom built for your trailer or van or truck setup, I'll have his info down below. Give him a call, he can custom build these for you. Now he's also a licensed electrician. So what he did is the 240 volts plug in the back here, he made into this box here. So split into two 120s. I also have these remotes, which again, Tony has suggested these, these are amazing. So I got a kit of three of them. They're all connected to something. So this one's connected to the air compressor. This one's connected to the blower. And this one is connected to the vacuum. So those are the three main things that I use that I want controllers for. And on my work belt, I have the controller right here. So one is the vacuum, 
two is the air compressor, three is the dog blower. So I'll keep this on me as I'm working around the vehicle. And if everything is running at the same time, it does put a little bit of a strain on the generator so I can turn one of these off as I need. This is a great way to keep things organized and to turn things on or off on the fly remotely. So I have this powered here. I have extra ports if I need, but everything's connected to the vacuum. All I need to do when I start a detail, pull out the pressure washer hose for exteriors, start this for our interiors, pull out the hose here, pull out this hose, and I can start the vacuum remotely and get to work. All my chemicals that I need are here. And then as you see, this door I changed up, brushes, I have more tools there. So we can get to work extremely fast. So setup and breakdown is a breeze. So now on this door, you noticed that I changed the bottles and things like that that I used to have here because this door here and that door usually open all of the time and is exposed to sun and heat. I don't want my chemicals to be exposed to sun and heat too much. Brushes and these things are completely fine. So this stays here. Of course, the ladder for big trucks, all my different brushes here, dry brushes up top wet brushes down below so that they can drip dry. This door I still have chemicals on, but it's okay because I can close it when we're working and it's not that big of a deal. So I'll keep these here. It's totally fine. It's mostly just waxes and some polishes and some miscellaneous ones here and some brushes in the bottom. And again, I added a Velcro strip here. So as I'm using pads, I can stick them right there. So these still need to be washed. These were just from this week. And I have some more videos using some of these waxes here, the new ones from Meguiar's. We have Extreme Solutions waxes, the Magnum wax, which is awesome stuff. Their Elite Gold Polish, which again, awesome stuff. It's actually an all-in-one wax. I'll talk about those things in later videos. Now let's go inside the trailer. And again, we made some improvements and added some things in here. Workflow now is so much better. Remember these that used to hang on the door? Well, I installed them in here. Out of the sun, they'll remain cool in here. So now I can put whatever products I need here, leather conditioners and miscellaneous things, conditioners and plastic protectants go here. And then here, this workstation now is much more organized. The PVC bottle holders, so I have four of them here. These are the 32 ounce bottle ones in the back and then the 16 ounce bottle one here. Works perfectly. They're all bolted down, nothing moves around, nothing slides around. This old plastic case is also bolted down and it worked perfectly for the steamer. All I need to do is pull the steamer out and in and we're good to go. And then I have the hose here for the steamer all connected, which I love. Now, side point, I got this recently for the VX5000 steamer. I love this thing. So the other triangle head on it was nice, but it was small and you had to put it on the end of this. Now I could have gotten a different attachment that goes into a three way steamer head, which is designed for that little triangle head. When I saw this, I decided to get this instead because for one, it's larger. When you look inside here, it splits the steam into all of those holes. So you get evenly distributed steam. This head is so much more efficient. It also can lock in place or you can unlock it and it swivels. How awesome is that? So yeah, this is really, really nice. And it's just way more heavy duty. You're, this thing is not gonna break or snap on you. Plus it has these little clips here to attach microfibers too, which is awesome. So I have been loving this. I've been using this extensively and I definitely suggest this if you have a VX5000 steamer, this thing is awesome. So the workflow up here, so much better more efficient. I still have my gallons here. The vacuum doesn't move. I'll pull it out if I need to clean it. Everything else is bolted down and stays in here. And again, chemicals out of the sun. I don't want them in the sun. I think it can actually ruin the chemicals, especially coming into summer with all of the extensive heat and humidity. So again, over here, I have my PVC. You've seen this before. I have the Velcro strip on here to put pads onto when they are dried and ready to go. Uh, then I can put them in here as needed. You've seen this before. I've also added a few extra things in here. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Hmm. Anyway, I added a few other aprons. Now, eh, Velcro, too much Velcro. So these little guys are actually really handy and it's a half apron. So it's just the bottom half and it has these really nice pockets in them. These are gonna be great for mobile detailers. My wife actually loves this because she doesn't want the full apron. She just wants the half one to 
put some chemicals in, to put towels in, these work great. So if you're doing paint correction and you don't want the entire apron to go over your neck or over your head, you can get one of these half aprons and they are awesome. This thing is super high quality, really nice microfiber. I bought two of them, one for me, one for her, and they work extremely well. So we'll use these for our paint corrections or even for coatings because then you can put your towels in there. If you do need to lean up against the vehicle, you're not gonna scratch anything, you're not gonna ruin anything. This green thing is just a poncho. We have some videos coming up where I wear that, so stay tuned for that. I have other aprons here too. I got the Meguiar's one, which is really nice, um, but it's a full apron. I just really love the half apron. It's just a nice size, so I'll roll that up later and take care of it. Now, I also got this little guy. Um, you've already seen the, the Pasha. I've talked about this thing so much because I just really, really love it. But this little thing I actually bought locally at a TJ Maxx or Marshalls a few months ago. This is great because it's on wheels. I can take this out, and as I'm, you know, polishing a vehicle, I don't actually have to take this entire thing out if I don't want to, which I still like to. But if I don't need to, I'll just have this thing go around the vehicle with me. I'll put my polisher here. I put this there. And I also got this little guy. This is a nice cordless pistol grip drill. I just put my drill brush on it. And it comes with a little mini yellow brush as well. That I don't use as often. I use this one more often. But very torquey. It actually has a hammer drill selection on it, which is pretty cool. And it also comes with a low speed, which is really really cool. So this thing was pretty cheap. And the batteries, it comes with two batteries. And now I have my charging station up here. So that's for the drill. That's for the SBTA polisher. I'm hoping to get another battery and charger pack and put here and I'll have four batteries or yeah, four batteries. No, three batteries total. I'd like to have four, but at least three batteries total. So I contacted SPTA about getting one of these, so I'm still waiting to hear back. But I want an extra charger and an extra battery, which would be great. Now I also have this little guy. I haven't talked about it much, but this Max Shine little mini light is amazing. Extremely bright, two different color temperatures. You have the 4000K and then you have the 5000K. And yeah, changes color. This thing is awesome and so bright. So it looks like the scan grip light. It's that type of, you know, build quality and it charges in the back here. So it does come with a little charger. The power button is back here. You have an indicator light here. When you plug it in, it will show when it's, you know, how much it needs to charge. And again, it's magnetic, which is so cool. So really super handy light. I really love this thing. I've been using this thing a lot more than the little Astro light actually, just because it's so flat and compact. You can stick it onto your belt. It's just a really nice light. So thank you, Max Shine. That is an awesome light. Now you might see this little guy. I've been using this for some of our videos using our phone. This is the Feotech Vimble 2S. I actually made a review on this check out the link down below to our other channel where I reviewed this. It's not a super extensive review. It's just, you know, to show you guys a nice entry level gimbal if you want one. And this does work with, um, you know, phones up to a certain size. I have the iPhone XR, which is pretty big and it fits it even with the case. So little side note, that's a great little gimbal to start. I'll be getting another one for the DSLR. So this little upgrade, great for our mobile jobs. I'll have some more videos showing how to use this little guy. Oh, one more thing you're gonna notice this trailer fan right here. This thing is awesome. So this is the Max Air, and it has a bunch of different options. It's both intake and outtake. You can get them fancier than this with remote controls, but I just wanted something simple. It has 10 different speeds, and check this out. So you can actually have this vent open while you're driving, so you always have constant airflow in here. And I have it on low, turn it all the way up to high. It really moves air. So I have it on intake now. So on super hot days, you can, have the, you can have it either blow the hot air out or blow some fresh, cooler air in. Awesome upgrade, I love this thing. And basically I wired it up to a 12 volt adapter that I have plugged into the trailer here. So when I'm plugged into the house, I have power here and I can just switch back and forth to generator power if I want. So this works really, really well. It's also connected to a little light kit here that I have, little LED strip lights that I have another video on if you wanna check that out to light up the trailer. And this light here I got from Harbor Freight. That works really well too. Oh man, I gotta reel this thing in. Oh, I love that. All right guys, so that's it for the upgrades on the trailer. I'm loving it so far. 
makes things much easier, more efficient when we're on our jobs. Our setup and breakdown is a minute or less. We can get right to work, right to work, right to work. That maximizes profit, makes things more efficient. So guys, like I said, I'll have links to many of these things down below. They will go to either Amazon, Car Supplies Warehouse, or anywhere else that I am finding these things to buy. Most of it is Amazon. That's really where I bought everything from the Max Air Fan to the Rockler hose reel for the vacuum. So that's it for today's video, but I am going to follow up another video on how to properly set up a pressure washer in a trailer like this or in your van or truck. I know I get a lot of questions about our pressure washer setup, how we built it and how we have it set up. It's kind of a custom build, but you can still do it yourself and get all of these things online on Amazon and get the same setup. And if I already have that video up, I'll link it there in the top. If I don't, look forward to it on our channel. And talking about missing things, definitely subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time these videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a safe week. Take care.